wash your hands. Uh, my name is Roger Harv. We're here at the Sevierville Blumen Barbecue and Bluegrass, and it's my third time judging. And what I tried is the bean dishes. I think the beans are being provided by Bush Beans. Very different mix. I mean, the, this is the aftermath of what it looks like. But the first one, which was number 147, had a real interesting mix. It was almost like a Indian, uh, Asian uh, mix flavors, uh, and very nice, very unique. I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but very nice. Second one, which there's not too many survivors left, was a, a bean dip, much like you would see on Super Bowl Sunday, but with outstanding bean mix and sauces. My favorite was this third one, which was a bean mix dip, and it had fresh, everything was fresh, the tomatoes, the corn, cilantro, outstanding taste, and whatever little vinegar or sauce they put in it really seemed to match well. And it danced around pleasantly in the palate as you were chewing it. And, it, and uh, I'm sure I'll have uh, reminders of it, uh, of this wonderful meal uh, for the next few hours, if you know what I mean. Uh, the fourth thing was this sort of a, what looks like a chili corn pie uh, with cornbread in a pie, but it was extremely sweet. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would it looked great, texture was great, the appearance was great, but it was just very, like a sweet cornbread and beans. Just for me personally, it didn't work. Now, this last dish was a, a, a bean based, almost chili-like with strips of bacon in it. And the bacon it was very good, everything was good, but the bacon to me dominated the taste. It overwhelmed everything. Uh, but, but hey, I really, I, but I love them all. I'd eat them all. I'd recommend them all. We're being spoiled here by the level of, of uh, quality of food that we can sample. But congratulations to all the uh, chefs, the contestants, the teams, because they're, as harsh as we might sound, there's not a bad dish out here. Thank you. I'm done. I, 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 you done wore me outside. He is oh, good. Is that ditto? Is that? Oh, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> How can somebody come back behind that? <laughs> that gentleman right down there, that's good. That's the best kind? Good. I don't know what's in that, but that is really good chocolate cake made with beans. But that wasn't on your table. Uh oh. Now, what did you have on your table that you liked and didn't like? We had beans. This one was really good. Um, the pie was really good. And I think that's all I liked on mine. I thought the turn-in tonight have been great. The bean category has done very well tonight. Uh, my personal pick was this one right here with a little rice over in the bottom of it. And it looked like it had some black beans and some and some kidney beans both in it. Maybe a little bit of bologna cut up in it with, with stuff. And it was very, very tasty. I had a good eye appeal, good presentation. As you can see there, I had a good presentation to it. Um, the other one was a, was a chip and a dip. And I, you know, I'm not much of a chip and dip type person, but that was a good, a good it was a good mixture. And then the the number the number four content was 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 looked like a bean casserole uh, in a bean pie that was different, but it had a little sweet taste. It was very good. It was good. And then our last entry was this uh, was beans with peppers and everything in it with bacon, and that would be a that'd be a good little meal to serve at home. I was I was very impressed with that product right there too. So I think the teams had, I think the teams tonight need a big a big round of applause because they've all done an outstanding job. My name's Jeff. My favorite, I think, was um, the shrimp and the sausage. The flavor was really good, and the um, sausage, I guess, roll was also really good. I, I just didn't care for the, um, there was fruit, like cranberries and apples in the one, um, 118, but it tasted, it tasted good. It just wasn't my, type of, wasn't my type of flavor. Okay. Hi, Max. Uh, love the uh, croissant very flavorful. This one was probably my favorite because it had the fruit. It had so much and had a good balance of 
fruit and sausage and for a slider and for what its purpose was, I thought it was really good. Shrimp was great. It's hard to beat sausage and egg sandwich, and then this was delicious as well. And, but all of it was very, very tender. All had unique flavors and really good texture and everything. So all in all, they were all great. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my name is Laura. Of course, everybody liked the shrimp. That was fabulous. Uh, this panini breakfast sandwich with the egg and the sausage, and it also had cheese on it, was wonderful. That was my favorite. My name is Kevin. Uh, everything was absolutely wonderful, but uh, as you can see, the uh, croissant is gone. That was uh, my favorite. Okay. I'm Scott, and I scored all of these highly, objectively. Uh, that probably was my favorite, too, because the sausage wasn't covered up by other flavors, and it really stood out. Uh, however, judging objectively, they all scored uh, very high. This was good. The stuffing in it was great. Uh, I kind of liked the fruit salad stuff on the slider also. Uh, the homemade biscuit on this was really good, and this was really hot, which made it super good, and it, it just tasted buttery. Uh, I judged the shrimp on appearance and gave it a high score. I did not judge it on uh, flavor or texture tenderness because I'm allergic to shrimp, but the uh, other lady judge judged that for me, and she gave it very high scores. It looked fantastic. I wish I could have got to eat it. The first one had good flavor, uh, skin had very good snap, overall it was uh, very tasty. The second one uh, had good snap on the skin, unfortunately it was overcooked and there was no flavor of chicken. The third one, again, very tasty, good skin snap. Uh, the fourth one had good snap. Unfortunately, the seasoning completely overruled the chicken. You couldn't taste the chicken. Uh, the last one, um, the skin couldn't be bitten through. The, uh, it was overcooked, and uh, it wasn't real tasty. Um, the first one was delicious it it uh, had really good bite through skin the tenderness was spot on I uh, enjoyed it a lot uh, the second one on my piece uh, the skin was not cooked enough it, uh, it was a little fatty on on half the chicken uh, the flavor was delicious the the spice they used the third one I loved it it had a raspberry it had a berry flavor to it uh, which I actually liked a lot. Uh, the uh, tenderness was was really good and the skin was was done well. Uh, the fourth one was the smokiest of the group. Uh, had a lot of uh, smoke flavor but it overpowered the chicken and so uh, just didn't have a lot of, of good juicy chicken flavor to it. And the fifth one uh, had a little bit of a, a bitter smoke flavor maybe like they used green wood or uh, I'm not sure, but just it, it was a an unpleasant smoke flavor. Uh, it was not nearly as tender. Um, I don't know if uh, to me it seemed like it was was not cooked enough uh, or it was well overcooked. But it, that was my opinion on that. Uh, number one was a pretty good piece of chicken. Uh, like the flavor tenderness skin uh, number two was uh, also a pretty good piece of chicken um, the skin was uh, good flavor good flavor cooked properly uh, number three I thought was uh, overcooked overspiced uh, four skin was uh, impossible to bite through uh, very bitter smoky flavor and uh, very spicy overpowered the chicken and number five uh, couldn't bite through the skin at all. Uh, spices way overpowered the chicken. It was way overdone. Uh, it was almost like it was dipped in liquid smoke. It was acrid and bitter. Okay. The first piece, uh, the flavor and the tenderness were right on point. Uh, the second piece for me, uh, the tenderness was, it was 
right at the minimum, but uh, I just, all I could taste was the sauce on my piece. The third um, had a little bit of tang to it, a little surprise, uh, maybe a little bit overdone. The fourth one, um, almost overdone, uh, but a little bit spicy. And the fifth one uh, was tough in the skin. I had to really try hard to get it off the chicken. I like number one also. I thought it was a little overcooked though because it appeared to be dry down when you got under the meat a little bit, but I still liked it. Um, number two was still dry but had some moisture to it that uh, I thought I liked it also. Uh, three uh, was a little over spicy. It sort of carried into the others, so I had to get rid of that taste, uh, but I still liked it. Uh, the uh, fourth one appeared to be overcooked uh, and made it sort of tough like uh, chewy you could crunch it and the fourth one was undercooked and I had to look at it a little closer because it, it remained too pink uh, but it had some flavor and crunch but uh, by far I thought the first two were better. I thought all of the entries looked uh, very well in the box and the presentation was good. The first three pieces had, you could bite through the skin. Um, the first two were a little dry on the inside. Uh, the third one was really overpowered by the fruity kind of sauce. It was hard to taste the chicken, all you tasted was sauce. Uh, the last two, the skin was almost impossible to bite through. Um, so tasting the skin was extremely difficult. Um, the fourth one um, had fairly decent flavor once you peeled back the skin and just took a bite of just the plain chicken. Um, the last one, um, even though it was the texture was tough, I thought once you peeled it back and took a little bite of the chicken that it had a really good chicken taste. trying to. Boy, Rib, come on. Where we go, man? We're going to eat chicken all morning. Life is good, ain't it? <laughs> chicken there, chicken around the corner. Ain't it? There's a whole lot of things. Make them look good. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably the best one was the fourth one. <clears throat> Had a great smoked flavor, actually a very strong 
port flavor, had a little pepper. Um, liked the fact that it wasn't over salted. Um, least favorite one on the plate was um, just a. I don't think they really did anything with it. I'll just be honest. I think they just put it on the grill and cut them up and turned them in. <laughs> thought this one, fourth one on our plate, was clearly the best of the lot. It was superbly cooked, I thought. It had a wonderful uh, flavor that had a little bit of pepper bite behind it that uh, was pleasing to me. Five was not far behind it in my judgment. I thought one and three were severely, one, overcooked and perhaps uh, three undercooked. Number three was um, pretty tough, no seasoning. Um, really liked the number two. It um, carried a good flavor with it, pleasant, very tender. Number four was excellent. I had a little afterbite, enjoyed that. And uh, number five was, was also a real good rib. The other two, they were, they were edible and good, but I don't think I'd go buy them. Um, first three ribs were nothing to write home about. Third rib, they forgot to pull the silver skin, made it kind of tough. Um, to me, the fourth rib was clearly the best one. It was it had, a, had a little pepper, a little back heat to it that went away. But you tasted the pork. You tasted the smoke flavor. Uh, number five was a good rib. Um, number six was above average, but I wouldn't pay for either one of those. But I would have bought number four. Yeah, everything today went perfect. Everything today went perfect, huh? Yeah, close a bit. That is a money muscle. That is a money muscle. It's so neat. What they do they taste? Taste? Well, well, I think we can, you know, put that part out. Pulled pork in the bottom. Yeah, Everybody please, gets their box in. Yeah. And he's giving them chunks of pork, and then the money <laughs> And then they take all the rest. Oh, they're supposed to be. If they put it in there, they eat it. If it's in the box, you're supposed to eat it. If it's in the box. Now, do you cook? I do. There you go. Yeah, and I found They are barbecue TV. Yeah, mommy told me. Oh, I can do it. Tag. Oh, no you want to go open? Uh, yeah. $35. That's not bad. Pretty, yeah, pretty smoke. How many jokes? Six, okay, six. Put it out. Put it out. They get six samples of each product that gets turned in. Do you pick where you'd like to judge? I get drafted. Oh. Because I'm on site, so I get oh. certified. For Ralph. It can come in right Yeah. Now. Oh no, she's done. Who is it? It's fine. It's Dad. Yeah, that. It can come in that door. Is that going to be here? No. I'm looking at the box. Yeah. As Bill says, I'm doing crotch shots. You can come on out this way. <laughs> Because all you see are hands and depending on the angle issue. And you take the box and I'm gonna stop the turning the body. Who does the turning? Hey Bill. How are you today? I am well. Good morning. We're doing a little filming afternoon. today, huh? Yes it is Give afternoon. Me a little check. Alright, let it go. Perfect. Alright, I got you, Bill. 
We're good, I think. Um, now we're gonna put it. Oh, on both sides. Ah, balance. It's my husband, balance. Symmetry, balance. Well, I need parsley. Eli made cheesecake, with cheesecake filling. Look at what's here. They did bacon, they never did that. Those are good, you should eat some. I know, the one oh, cook. On. You done? Oh. Yeah, I cleaned it up a second. Number four, number one was probably my two favorite because they had the most flavor. Entry five probably had the best texture of all of them, but there wasn't a whole lot of flavor to go along with entry five. Entry two was probably my worst favorite because it's overcooked and really uh, mushy. So uh, that was probably my least favorite out of all of them. Okay, well, on the five entries, I found number one to be bland, and I would say undercooked, and uh, actually one piece that I picked was burnt. Uh, number two was, to me, a uh, little dried out, really didn't have any taste. Uh, number three had some smoke flavor, looked real nice in appearance. Uh, it also didn't have a, a big blast in taste. The money muscle on number four was real good. However, the, uh, the pulled was also burnt and dried out. In our last entry, I would just say was average. The first entry I thought was uh, decent. There were two different tastes. One part had some taste and the other part did not have any taste. So I wouldn't have sent two sections in because we got two different tastes from that. That was my third choice. The second entry that we had did not have any taste. That would have been my fourth uh, fourth score. The third entry we had would have been my second one. It did have tenderness, but it didn't have taste. It had a lot of good smoke in it. My fourth, fourth one would have been my first one. It had good taste and tenderness, but it still wasn't anything that I would write home about. And my last one would have been my fifth choice, and it was very dry, didn't, uh, did not have a lot of taste to it, uh, and it was very dry. Okay, the first, first entry was really two parts of it. Uh, the barked area had, had a chemical type taste to it. Uh, the center sections of it had uh, probably no taste at all. Uh, the second entry was, was kind of dry, uh, didn't have much of a taste to it, uh, no smoky taste at all. Uh, entry three had, had good texture, uh, looked really good and stuff, but it had no sauce on it and also had no taste. Uh, entry four uh, had more taste than any of the rest of them. I thought was still a little dry. Uh, five was a very smoky taste to it and also was very dry but it had uh, nothing other than the smoke flavor. Uh, number one was, it was very tender. The taste was okay, had a little, little bit of smoke flavor to it. Number two was tender. Uh, I didn't like the sauce that they put on it and it had no smoke flavor at all. Uh, the third one was a little dry, lacked flavor, and to me the meat was stringy. Uh, the fourth one was my favorite. It was very tender. I thought it had lots of flavor. And the fifth one had a lot of smoke flavor on it, but it was very dry. Right there in behind, or right in front of them. It's mostly a fish or sausage. I see it, my dear, thank you. Cut her up all the meats. Or, a little bit I thicker. don't know, he is today. It cut pretty smooth, Moose. What does it look like? <laughs> well, it looks good. I mean, looks like you're breaking out a little like a taste sweat of there, getting it through the middle. Right? Thank you, Charlie. Right. 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 Right.
I think me and you done a pretty good job. That looks pretty damn good. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Bitch. Huh? We're a bitch. It was like garden, was it? Why the hell are you? Well, I'm a <laughs> son of a bitch. I mean, from 11 to I tell everybody knows. 11 30 to 2 o'clock, do not call me. Yeah. <laughs> what, that's going to stop hard? It didn't. It don't. They just got shit destroyed to straight your voice, mate. How's your thickness? It's all right. All right. You ought to be getting in a little fatty in now. Yeah, I am. Well, is it supposed to be like a quarter so inch or something? About the, about the width of a number two pencil. Did you stay up here last night? Yeah. Not this morning. Yeah, we're in the fat. Yeah, back off. Time to get up here. All right. Y'all pick it. Throw that in the garbage. Took me. Crap. I got to come. I got here. Took me about 50 minutes. I was thinking like, I would have too. I didn't get home till after 10. The heat is. I can do that. Oh, you can. I can't. Brisket Benny Bates. See, that's. Totally different well, little have to piece of meat right there. The same no. Uh, see what I'm saying? You can use parsley. You can use any. Is that the way the other ones look? Here. Give me the knife. Yes. Well, isn't that? No, get in there. Whatever is up the world's fair side. Uh, Rick, he fucked <laughs> up on his garnishes or something. Okay, this and is funny. So Bobby well, I don't know. Back. And, on the way back to the lecture. No, I have. I got this qualified. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been, it might have been his garnish. Did you try it, Jay? I'm just trying to figure out. So, I said, well, I got sandwiched up in my house. We want to come by before you go over here. We have some food. It's got real good sandwich. It's tender. Well, I didn't hear from him. It pulls well. I called him and said, I guess you're not going to first go to the that's six. That doesn't look too bad either. Sardines. I was like, oh, it's so good. All right, thank you, Jay. Oh. That's not great. Seven. If you don't say something, I'm going to let one. you stay up too late. I was counting. Thank you. Gross. 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 Gross.
Thank <laughs> you.